Prime Minister will be departing uh, for Kazan tomorrow uh, to attend the 16th uh, BRICS summit uh, at the invitation of uh, President Vladimir Putin. Uh, the theme of this uh, edition of uh, the summit is uh, strengthening multilateralism uh, for just global development and security. Uh, as you know, uh, India is a founding member uh, of uh, BRICS and has participated in all of its activities, uh, its initiatives and engagement since its uh, inception. Uh, India brings uh, great value to BRICS and its contributions uh, have played a vital role uh, in shaping uh, BRICS efforts in areas such as uh, economic growth, uh, sustainable development, and global governance uh, reform. Uh, we place um, a great deal of importance uh, on our involvement and our activities uh, within the BRICS Forum uh, as we view it as a key expression uh, of uh, global multipolarity. Uh, BRICS also serves uh, for us as a vital platform uh, to tackle a range of uh, global challenges uh, while also contributing uh, to the shaping of a fairer, uh, more exclusive, and open uh, international uh, order. Uh, this year's summit, uh, the 16th uh, edition in uh, Kazan, uh, has as its focus uh, the integration of uh, new BRICS uh, members uh, into BRICS uh, cooperation uh, mechanisms, uh, also strengthening economic cooperation, uh, promoting uh, cooperation for energy and food security, uh, promoting cooperation in a host of areas related to science, healthcare, environmental protection, culture, sports, youth exchanges, and civil society. Uh, as you would be aware, this is the first summit that will be taking place after the first ever expansion of BRICS uh, last year at the Johannesburg Summit. Uh, so this summit will be attended by the founding members as well as the new members. The, just to give you an idea very briefly of uh, the uh, program of the summit, uh, the summit begins on October 22. Uh, this is the day of uh, welcome and there is a uh, leaders only uh, dinner on uh, the evening of the first day. Uh, the main day of the summit is on the 23rd of October, and there are two main sessions, a closed plenary in the morning, followed by an open plenary uh, in the uh, afternoon, devoted to the main theme of uh, the summit. Uh, the leaders are also expected to adopt uh, the Kazan Declaration, which will lay the path forward uh, for BRICS. Uh, this document is presently being uh, negotiated in uh, Kazan. The BRICS summit ends on the 24th of October. Uh, however, the Prime Minister, on account of uh, pressing uh, commitments uh, back home, uh, will return to New Delhi on the 23rd of October uh, itself. But on the 24th, uh, the summit will conclude with the BRICS Plus uh, or the outreach session, where a number of countries have been invited by uh, the uh, chair. Uh, this. Uh, session is focused on BRICS and the Global South, uh, building a better world uh, together, and it will have participation by the BRICS leaders who are there and these uh, invited uh, countries. I uh, believe that uh, about 28 heads of state and government and five international organizations will be participating in the outreach summit. The Indian delegation for the outreach uh, summit will be uh, led by uh, Dr. S. Jayashankar, the External Affairs uh, Minister. Uh, on the sidelines of the summit, the Prime Minister is expected to have uh, a few uh, bilateral meetings. These are presently being uh, worked out, and we will keep you uh, updated uh, on uh, these uh, meetings as they uh, evolve. Uh, just a special word about the city uh, where the summit is being held. Uh, Kazan is the capital of the Republic of Tatarstan uh, in Russia. It's the fifth largest city in Russia uh, and a major cultural and educational center. Uh, we have around uh, 1,000 Indian students in Kazan. And uh, some of you may recall that during the visit of the Prime Minister to Russia in uh, July, 
uh, we had indicated our intention to open an Indian consulate uh, in Kazan.